Lens Art Show started two years ago. It is a STEM endeavor, science, technology, engineering, and math. And what we try to do is move our students out of their comfort zone in their own content. Um, dual enrollment biology students, dual enrollment statistics students, and our art students at Lord Botetourt High School and the STEM Academy all came together with the endeavor of producing a piece of art that reflected what they were learning about a particular disease. They don't speak the same language, but, and there is disequilibrium at the beginning, believe me, there is, but as they traverse through this process, they learn to communicate with each other. And the art students teach the biology and the statistics students a little bit of art, you know, what icons mean and what are powerful images versus what, may, what is a weaker image. And the statistics people are sitting there helping students when they're pulling epidemiology information offline saying, well, this is a significant number in relation to other data that they see, or this is not a significant number. And my biology people are always there to say, okay, this is how this disease works, this is what this organ does, this is what this body system does. So collectively, they start to begin to get a more conceptual idea of what that disease is doing in the body. For instance, for this art project, the first thing that the groups of students were supposed to do was come up with a case study which is something that I typically do in my anatomy and physiology classes here on campus or back at my home school. And a case study would include a patient and molecular cause and epidemiology. And my students feel very comfortable with that. They feel less comfortable getting up in front of their peers and talking about what they learned. And they feel even less comfortable talking about that in a non-scientific arena. However, if they can feel comfortable talking about it in those areas, they tend to have to be required to know more about it. They go deeper. It's not just information that they scanned off the internet, but they're really conceptualizing what that disease means as far as a patient is concerned. And one of the things that we don't do, or I don't do a very good job of in my classroom, especially science classroom, is taking the time to teach the human aspect of science, disease, and how that affects a person, and how to empathize with these sorts of things. And the students will have to do that in order to produce this art, because that's one of the requirements for the actual art product, is to talk about how this disease will affect a patient uh, personally and in their, uh, within their caregiver or their family um, area, and then globally how it affects them. What I get out of it is a, is a way for me to redirect and reshape my curriculum every year. I'm a big proponent of STEM education. I don't think that we learn science effectively just in the science classroom. Our students are going to have to go out and communicate with other students, and we don't know where they're go we're going to find a home. You know, We don't know where we're going to land as far as our employment opportunities are concerned. I think they get an experience from it that they would normally not get in just a mainstream science classroom. It really makes them hone their communication skills, not with just their peers, but displaying something to the public. And these are those 21st century working skills that we're really trying to, to um, instigate and, and cultivate so when we and these students graduate from Virginia Western or wherever they're going they'll have a really good idea of what their job is going to require and have the means to do that.